and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm back riding the Lyric Graffiti it's been a while since I've ridden it because I got a flat tire and didn't have time to fix it and that brings me to this I wanted to show you there is the culprit right there it was stuck right in the tire when I went to look and see where the flat was it didn't take two seconds to find the nail stuck right in the tire back tire and so today was the day I wanted to uh, fix it so I could get back out riding on the Lear graffiti so that brings me to today's topic I want to talk about e-bikes and flat tires first of all I want to talk about my history with flat tires on e-bikes it's a very short one I've been riding an e-bike now for about five years the different bikes I've had I've had three the Rad Rover, my first bike, I've never gotten a flat on that bike. And I don't know why I haven't gotten a flat, just lucky. And then my second bike was the Aerial Rider Grizzly. And I have had one flat tire on that bike. And funny enough, it was exactly the same time, basically, that I stopped riding it. And at the time I stopped riding it um, was when I had the controller issues and had to have the controllers replaced. Well, right when I stopped riding it, wouldn't you know, the next morning I get up and the back tire was flat. And I thought, well, gee, you know, when it rains, it pours you know, uh, problem on top of problem. So I had to have the two uh, controllers replaced and have the uh, back tire uh, fixed, flat tire. So, and so I've only had one flat on the um, Aerial Rider Grizzly and that was with the regular, that was with the regular uh, stock tires that came with the bike and since then I've gotten the uh, E Huntsman tires on there and I have yet to uh, have an issue with those I think it's going to take quite a bit to go through those tires they're pretty pretty thick but anyway uh, that brings me to this bike and I've had this bike now the era uh, the Lyric Graffiti for about three and a half months and I got my first flat tire just within the last couple of weeks. And uh, so I've been lucky for the time I've been riding, which is about just about five years. I've only had two flat tires. So when I repaired the flat tire on the bike here, I didn't take the, uh, tire, the wheel right off. I was able to just leave the back wheel on and funny enough, since I found the, uh, I just started to look at the wheel, the back wheel to see where the flat was. And right away, I just started to look down the tire and then boom, right there was the nail that I showed you, stuck right in the tire. And so uh, I thought, oh, this is gonna be easy enough. So all I, all I did was take the, uh, tire there uh, get the tire uh, off the rim at least halfway off enough to pull out the tube and then all I did was pulled out the uh, all I did was pulled out the tube uh, uh, where the problem was and fixed it patched it up I did the old-fashioned patch with the glue and uh, gave it a little bit of time to dry and then pumped it up and away we go here but uh so i've been pretty lucky 
with just a couple of flat tires in my old time riding which is pretty darn good now the question is have you guys out there been that lucky or have some some of you out there have you had like many flat tires I'm sure that some people get lucky there may be some out there that have never had a flat tire and others are probably saying gee I get those about every once a month or every few weeks or pretty sure I got mine in the uh, riding in the uh, bike lane uh, of the road because I do remember hearing a little pop noise and I didn't think nothing of it really but because I hear the popping noises all the time but that was a pop pop I guess uh, where it popped the uh, tube so yeah it's an interesting topic to see what I mean some of us have good luck like I've had you got to say that I've had good luck only having two flat tires knock on wood but uh, I'm sure some of you out there are are probably uh, you know professionals I guess you'd call it at uh, re uh, patching up your bike or I mean some I know some folks out there use slime or flat out I have a bottle of flat out at home and I've yet to open it and uh, so I've never really used it although like I say I have a bottle at home it's sitting there big bottle of it and I haven't really used it and I don't know if I ever will or not. Um, I think uh, when you think about it, uh, fears to riding an e-bike when you're out there, especially when you're out quite a ways out there, you know, and you kind of in the middle of nowhere and you get a flat tire, there's nothing worse than that. I got to admit, I've been lucky when I have had the two flats they both were a slow enough leak that I didn't know until I actually got home and that I even had a flat tire like I basically the next day or later that evening is when I would see the bike tire down but I've never had one yet knock on wood on the road so been lucky that way So let me know in the uh, comments section here how you do uh, with uh, luck as far as uh, flat tires. Have you had your share of flat, flat tires or are you one of the lucky ones that maybe have only had one or two like myself or had absolutely none and been very lucky? So go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below and let me know how you uh, do on the flat tire uh, side of things. I got to admit, it's probably not good, but I don't bring a patch kit with me and I probably should. Patch kit and a pump because uh, you never know especially when you go on a longer ride here's an here's another question to do with flat tires have you ever had I'm sure this has come up with people but how about getting in the same day multiple flat tires whether it be two or even three have you ever had that happen now i'm not trying to put a curse on anybody but i just wondered boy that would i think that would make a few people a little bit upset you know you say you fix your flat tire and within an hour or something or less than that, you know, boom, there goes another one. Uh, 
feels so good to get out on the Lyric Graffiti. I just love the uh, ride that this bike gives. So that's my topic for today as we go through our experiences with our e-bikes and this is one that's kind of hard to avoid and that's flat tires the other thing that's kind of hard to avoid especially if you ride a lot is replacing your tires you know at some point Unless you hardly ever ride it at all, at some point you're going to have to do that, replace your tires. Boy, I really cringe because this is the spot where I got the flat tire, somewhere along here. And uh, I'm going to get onto the road here, I think. Feel more comfortable. Oh, uh, maybe I better go in here. I'm going to turn off of this road. This bugs me now that bugs me now that I got the uh, the flat along here. You know, it gives me uh, have a little anxiety when it comes to riding. This stretch right in here, I think, is where it happened right where I'm about to go but I'm, I'm gonna turn when all this traffic slows down beautiful day here today we're got we got a temperature in the low 80s sun is shining after this car I think I'll be able to go Yeah, I really, I'm not a big fan of the bike lanes, you know, as it is, but gosh, there's so much uh, debris in there, you know, that really bothers me about, that's why I don't like to ride in there. I'd rather ride on the road um, if I could, you know, and, and kind of keep up with traffic if it's not too fast, you know. If they're going... 30 miles an hour, we should be able to go 30 miles an hour on our e-bike and just stay with the traffic. I think I, I almost feel better with that than doing the uh, doing the bike lane because I know it's inevitable. I'm gonna get more flat tires. Maybe I should use the flat out. I don't know, does that work well enough? Do you feel comfortable using that? Or what? what do you out there use for preventatives for uh, flat tires or hopeful preventatives. That's one thing on an e-bike. I wish, um, I think I'd be willing to pay a little more. You know how they, they go on the cheap for some things and it's usually tires is one. I would be willing to pay, I think a little bit more money. You know, we got people that want um, the, uh, full suspension and we want you know different things I think I would like good tires right off the off the stop, uh, hop you know right out from the start right out of the box and uh, I think that would be uh, I don't know it'd be nice and not have to worry within 500 miles or something you know am I going to be replacing these tires soon if you ride a lot like I'm saying, 1,500 miles, let's say, or more in the summer, 2,000 miles. You want to at least get a whole summer out of your tires without having to change them, you know. It's a pain to always have to change the tires. So I'd rather have a little bit higher quality tires would be one thing that I'd be willing to pay more before you even get the bike, you know, have the good tires on there that are going to last you. Well, that's going to do it for the flat tire video. So 
If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Don't forget to check out our past videos. We got several videos there, like more than 250 now on the page. So uh, check that out on the channel and tell your friends about us. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.